Which are the two best tools to survive and make a shelter with? I think it's going to be an axe and a small knife. For me, the survival knife and a folding saw. So uh, we'll see. We've got three hours before it's dark. We'll That's have to make a shelter each. We have a communal fire here that we can use. That is your side. This is mine. And here we draw the line. Am I allowed to come in there? Oh yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, action. Got a shovel, got some shovel. It's good to fix that, Take care about nature. Okay guys, I'm going for those pine branches, that's a good deal. It's a cool saw, I'm stuck in here. I'm gonna take this home, big pile, big pile. Right. Still taking the remainings. Here, huh? Maybe we should take a little more. Competition starts. Oh, you don't need the pine branches, it seems. I'm taking this one. Be careful. More resources, more resources. What I need is some of those tree forks to form the basis of my shelter. Put them off here. Yes, with the OPNL number 18. Fast saw it is. All right, so I'll have to decide what I'm actually going to make. Um, I was thinking a little bit of a lean-to with a long log fire and a reflective kind of wall on the other side of it, other side of the fire. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to start laying it out so I know exactly what I need to get, rather than just getting a lot and then you know, going for nothing or not having enough or whatever. Here comes Julius. What would he be up to? I don't know, it just looks like a You're big bush. You're lucky man with the tree. I didn't think that was the plan. Uh, it was there all of a sudden, I figured I might as well. I, I won't use the tree, I'm not a cheater. Eh? <laughs> okay, chop, chop, chop. was a waste of time it <laughs> should have stayed on the ground now this big ass branch behind me fell over with the with the snow probably so uh, it's still going to be fairly fresh which means it's going to be stronger than kind of rotty wood so I'm going to take more kind of wide junctions here for the bed so I, I'll, I'll be sure that they're they're going to be strong
what I'm going to do first is make my raised bed. They don't chop this down, but he left some nice remnants. I like those pieces. Yeah, they're great. Now the wind is going that way. It used to go that way. What now? What now? It's very important to know where the wind is coming from for your shelter orientation, of course. I'm going to make it like that. And the wind is going that way. Worries, worries. Right, been busy for a while gathering stuff. Julius next door, he's being busy too. Waste no time. And here. I'll show you exactly why the axe is superior to the saw. You have a limb about nearly 10 centimeters diameter and um, you go through it with two or three swings. It's a lot quicker than the saw. We'll try that again. Three. Hopla. Thank you, Dylan. Dylan is doing a great job for the community. <laughs> You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Good luck, man. The wind is turning all directions. It's very hard to know where to orientate your shelter. I'm choosing that side because I haven't seen uh, the wind going that way. Or did it? That way. I don't know. Okay, I got my basis of the bedding and now construct the shelter frame. The X will succeed in this, but it's doable with a knife. It is. down the stake with the axe, the axe head is square so you're likely to tear off the junction here because it's sharp, right? You okay. put a little stick in it. Great. It seems to help just it's a little hot. bit. No snow here anymore so the jacket goes out. Now I need this PC. This should be quite easy. It will be a small shelter, it will be a small shelter, that's right. But small is efficient, right? Small is efficient. No. Uh, Julius thought he'd scavenge my stick, but they're still on my side of the line, so I'm gonna scavenge it back. Oh no! <laughs> Look at the run! <laughs> hey, what is this now? <laughs> I'm just getting there too. It's a bit wobbly still, huh? So uh, we're an hour in it, so that's one third of the way. And we're not doing too bad, but there's still a lot to be done, so... That's right, a lot to be yeah, done! Let's move on.
All right, so the, the main frame is done. Just have to make a bed and uh, cover it up, which is like most of the work. Here we get going. Yeah, go for the firewood first before it is dark. So I'm looking for dry firewood and that takes time. I'm thinking a big log fire, long log fire. What about this guy? Maybe. It's quite dead. Let's try and take it down. I think that's the best I get. Yeah, it's quite big for this saw. But we'll see if we can manage. We will. Could be rotten all through. I'm not sure. It seems to be quite rot. No. Almost there. Seems to be wet. Seems to be rotten. Wet and a waste of energy. It's a little bit more decent, but still quite rough. Maybe we should go for this one. Seems to be better. All safe, all safe. Back to camp. Some more firewood to get that fire going you know I'm spending time now gathering a lot of materials now it is still light so I have everything then I can finish my shelter is this okay mm. it's not the best try to look for a birch birch has really good twigs here's a birch underneath it in the other trees you might find some broken off birch twigs. Look at this. This is great. Yes. This is what we need. Check the fire. I haven't seen Julius see it. Ten do it once. Definitely getting darker now. Not near ready, of course. Thought I'd use the last bit of daylight. Get some firewood for the night, because it's gonna be hard to find in the dark. <laughs> I'll get that one later. Let's find another one. Hey. <sighs> make Julius jealous too. Start felling real big stuff, huh? Yeah, rotten. Oh, this guy. Rotten. I put my firewood beside the fire so it can dry out a little.
Right, more firewood, more shelter building. Julius is uh, still busy too. Rain. Okay, I need some more of uh, those thin straight sticks. It's four o'clock, it's dark. I got all my firewood in before it got dark, that's good. It's raining pretty badly too, so it's all pretty shitty, but... So to finish off my shelter now, it's completely not waterproof. It's just kind of a little bit more than just a skeleton. The firewood gets wet. At It is small, but I think small is sufficient. Then uh, the hard part will be to get the fire going with all the wetness. I already tried. I'll be struggling. All right, this is my shelter. Not nearly finished. And uh, since Julius stole all the pine needles, mm -hmm. I have to do it with forest debris. Anyway, it's raining, it's cold. There's still a lot to do. And then the fire has to be made right here as well. This is very It's open right. Oh yeah, let's have some dinner. Dinner time. Oh. Yeah. So we're having a little dinner break here. It's a good thing we have the community fire because things are tough. It's cold, it's wet. Got the fire going and um, I should uh, finish my uh, forest floor debris all the way to the end. Although it's burning a little bit now, I'm really struggling with getting this fire going. It's a long log fire. To get it going over the wall length, you need a lot of tinder. And the thing is, I don't have any dry firewood anymore. How's it going, Julius? Yeah, bad. Oh, if the fire was on, it would be grand. What now? What now? What now? It's not looking well at all. Pity the wind changed again. I'm getting smoked out a little bit. <laughs> Just burning the edges of the of the logs at the moment uh, to make sure that they burn evenly. You know, otherwise it's just going out in the middle. Out. It's not yet though. So you have a few extra logs and a few extra bits, twigs. I'll probably, you know, a couple of times at night, I'll probably have to shift them around a little bit to keep it going all night long because they're all different shapes and sizes. Definitely warm. It's nearly too warm. Happy enough with the shelter. I would would have liked to do a little bit more, you know, close off that side. And there's a few drips as well, but sure, uh, everything is drying out. I have my jacket laid out, my hat, my backpack. Everything is just dry and it's real nice. Yeah. And what's happening here? Big time struggles on the other side. <laughs> get your axe, ladies and gentlemen, get your axe. <laughs> Bring your axe. Have a good night. So breakfast the next morning. Yeah, how'd you sleep? I slept pretty well. And how was that without a fire? That's because I used my sleeping bag and my bivy. 
that wasn't really the plan. Could have choose to struggle to make it a hard night and uh, try to get the fire going. But uh, the thing is, we are here, have limited time, so we have to be fit for the next video. And what do you think of your shelter building? Not I think... Survival I would, knife and folding saw. I would be very happy with the design because if we compare it to yours, yours is very big, you would need a lot of firewood to warm you up. I could do with a lot less. It's small, so smaller fire. It just fitted me. It was just the right size. The bedding was great. Of course, my main struggle was that getting that fire on. It was very wet, it was rainy. I choose to go for a long log fire with just two logs on top of each other. It's very efficient, slow burning, but it's quite hard to get it going, I guess. Next time I might try the Siberian log fire. That's just one log on the ground and you put some uh, side logs from the side. It's uh, easier to get it going and to maintain it. Uh, with my shelter, you know, with the ax, it done all the work for me. Even, I, I still ran out of time though. I have no bedding, so mm -hmm. it, it is quite sticky, hardy. You know, but it's fine. It was fairly flat, so it, it wasn't a bother. Uh, it wouldn't have been the warmest either without bedding and without the side wall covered and without um, reflective wall on the other side of the fire that I wanted to make. Uh, you do need a lot of firewood to keep uh -huh. yourself warm. This part, an extra ridge. Yeah, I should have made this way higher this one higher and then this one lower yeah so you have like this and then like that you want your roof at least 45 degrees to make it uh, rainproof some of you might ask what did you do with your pocket knife well I, yeah that was what I was I wondering too I cleaned my fingernails at the end of the day <laughs> <laughs> but I guess for long-term survival the pocket knife would be quite handy for the small jobs long-term survivability the axe you know get yourself a uh, a stone from the from the river or the beach and you can hone your axe and you can stay going for years you might break a saw one day you know you cannot hone your saw with this obviously very good point the quickness of the axe i think it's a superior tool for survival i'm not sure if you won because of the axe but maybe it was just my inefficiency my me being unlucky the viewers will uh, will judge i think you did a great job i'm impressed Thanks, man. Thanks. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Check out Axe vs. Knife if you haven't seen that one already. That's the inspiration for this video. That's right. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. we see you on the next one. Subscribe. Turn on the notifications. More challenges coming up too. More videos coming up. Hope Big you, you know, subscribe. Leave, leave a comment. Please leave a comment. It'd be great. And I'm getting smoked out of it. Yeah. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>